Another day, another cigar. Hello everyone, my name is Jose Sweet. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Sweet Cigar Reviews. I love to smoke cigars, you love to smoke cigars, so let's smoke some cigars. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the Crux Epicure Maduro as our cigar that we're going to be smoking and reviewing today. So this cigar has its origins in Nicaragua with the binder and the filler being from Nicaragua but the wrapper here is a Mexican San Andres Maduro. This cigar has a really beautiful smell to it. Uh, I will admit this is one of the few cigars that has, that's really like aromatic without it being like an infused cigar. I'm picking up lots of leather notes on the wrapper and the uh, foot of the cigar. So that's, uh, that's really good. That's something I've never really uh, sensed before. So who knows, this might actually turn out to be a really good smoke. The cigar looks to be pretty well made, there's very tight invisible seams, uh, it's built pretty well, so that's also really good. I really like the artwork on this band, it's a, it's really nice, it has this like beautiful um, turquoise color, it has this gold sticker on the back, um, overall I really like the art on this. So let's cut the cap on this cigar and let's get a cold draw. I'm getting some leather and dark chocolate notes from this cold draw. And like also some some hay notes so we got leather on the smell of the cigar we have dark chocolate leather and hay on the cold draw so now I'm curious what am I gonna get when I'm actually smoking this thing and there's only one way to find out oh yeah also my Predomo lighter is back uh, it's making its feature back into the uh, the videos so this thing was not working right for the longest and you know, I thought it was me, you know, I'm like, I'm not doing things right, I'm not bleeding it out correctly, I'm not filling it correctly, uh, but turns out I had this thing on the lowest setting, so whenever I, like, push down the button, it would kind of, like, spurt out just, like, little bits of fuel, uh, so I got it turned up all the way, and every single time I press the button, it just works. So, let's light this cigar. Okay, so on this retro hill, definitely I'm picking up that dark chocolate. Yeah, so when I took the cold draw, I was picking up dark chocolate and, and leather. Uh, on this retro hill, that dark chocolate is really pushing through. Uh, and that's beautiful. I, I love cigars that are chocolatey. That's just one of my that's one of my favorite things that I look for in cigars. Like roasted coffee beans, chocolate, um, sometimes like honey notes and hay notes those are good i i like i like to look for cigars that have that but you know it doesn't mean that like i'll only smoke those kinds of cigars yes yeah, so this is very interesting these uh these hay and leather notes um i get them through my mouth but on the retro hill i'm picking up this dark chocolate so that's actually really interesting uh and you know that goes to show that you should retro your cigars uh, a little bit more because there's notes that you'll pick up on the retro hill that you won't normally pick up just tasting it with your mouth. I mean, look, it's it's like tasting food, you know, part of the experience is smelling it, you know. So it's not just putting it in your mouth and, and swallowing or whatever. Uh, it's also the smell of the food. That doesn't mean every puff you got a retro hill, but, you know, you should retro hill every few puffs or so. Um, every three or so. Just to kind of get just to kind of pick up like what else are you getting out of the cigar okay so now we're at the second third of the cigar and this cigar has pretty much transitioned into almost a full body stick i mean at least for me it is a little bit more bite in this second third here and the hay notes and the dark chocolate notes have kind of mixed together the leather is kind of taking a back seat so I mean, it's it's pretty good. I like it. It's a really like chocolatey cigar, and that's great. The smoke too from the cigar is just very like aromatic. Uh, it's a really pleasant smell too. So that's something I don't really pick up in a lot of cigars. For me, a lot of cigars just kind of smell like I don't know cigars, tobacco. But this is really putting out an amazing smell. Another thing I like about the cigar is that I can put it down for like a minute or two come back to it and I don't have to relight. 
there's only been maybe a handful of the cigars that I've ever smoked that can do what this cigar is doing right now. And to me, I find that important. I find that like really good because I'm here at the shop and I'm filming this review right now, but a customer could come in and I gotta put this thing down and I gotta, you know, see what they want and get them all settled. And then I gotta come back and continue shooting. So knowing that I don't have to relight and possibly uh, messing up the cigar that way, you know, that's, that's really good. No relights. It kind of went up in strength, but now it's kind of going back down. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's, that's, that's me though. That's what I'm tasting out of this thing. Uh, maybe you watching this, uh, you might get the opposite. But I kind of feel like I might have hit something in the cigar that kind of made it go up in strength. And then now as it's burning away, it's kind of dying back down. But it's still a really good chocolatey cigar. So yeah, I'm gonna continue smoking this down to the last third, and uh, let's see where this goes. All right, everyone, that was the Crux Epicure Maduro. That ended up being a really good cigar. It's a really good medium to full-bodied smoke. I was really satisfied with it. Um, it was a really chocolatey cigar with those hay and leather notes. Um, beautiful smoke outputs. Barely, I, I didn't have to relight it at all. Um, and yeah, overall it was a really good cigar. So we have the Crux Epicure Maduro and about three other Crux cigars available right now at the Leaf Cigar and Pipe Shop, located 3710 South Camden Road here in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. So if you guys want to come down and try the cigar yourselves, uh, please, by all means, do so. But yeah, guys, this has been another episode of Sweet Cigar Reviews. If you like this kind of content, give it a like, share it with friends and family, and consider liking the uh, Leaf Cigar and Pipe Shop page on Facebook. And if you're on YouTube, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, also, if you're on Facebook, I have YouTube exclusive videos on my YouTube channel that you can watch where uh, I also recently I did a video on Oliva Cigars. It's a really short video. It's pretty funny. So if you guys want to check that out, head over to my YouTube channel for that. And uh, yeah, but either way, guys, have a great day and a great cigar.